Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Ashley's Treasure, and I got another haul to share with you. First, I'm going to show you some stuff that I got at an outlet store, and I got some used books there, and um, they had like a bin, and they had no price there, so I grabbed a couple, and when I was cashing, I asked how much they were, and apparently all the books in there were only a dollar. And um, so I got these for junk journals. Um, first, I found this one, and I was really interested from the cover and um what's it called silver people and it's like voices from the panama canal and it's like all poems inside of it granted i got it mostly for the you know case though it's like taped shut but or not for the case for the lid but it's just a plain plain one to work off from but i liked the inside too and I liked some of the sayings that were in here, and this part has like a sketch on here, which would be really fun to use in color. And then, um, almost like all throughout here, they got these butterflies in here. So, and they look like little stamps, or watercolor. And some of the sayings in here were nice too. But yeah, each time they got these butterflies on here, so I'll have to use those in my junk journals. It's got so many butterflies in here. I'm trying to remember, there's one of the same, the little poems that I really liked. But this is one of the poems that I liked. I thought this would be good in like a um, nature, a nature junk journal. It's called Rooted, and it's about a, um, the trees. And only our branches can move. So we dance with our green while our roots are unseen and all the legs and wings and eyes of the world forget we are here, always here, always. So I thought that would be a good one to use. So there's a lot of nice poems in here. The forest. but And then all these butterflies. So I'll definitely use that. And I can't remember how old this was. It's not that old I don't think yeah this was 2014 so it's not old at all but um, it seems like it's never been read but yeah definitely I thought it was definitely worth a dollar and then um, I got this one stylized which um, I got it for the cover of course because I like the blue and yellow I'm looking for an all yellow cover. I haven't found one yet, but I was getting close. But I really like the blue and yellow bright colors, so I'll have to do like a blue and yellow themed, like birds and butterflies uh, journal. And I really like the size of this one. But um, there were some pictures of people in here, which I'm not always huge into, but I don't know. Some of these aren't too bad. I might, I might use some of these. It's about the family. But yeah, I thought those would be good to use too, to place pictures or um, put paper over it so you can journal. And then I like some of the doodly design. There's another picture. But yeah, it was only a dollar and I don't think this one's that old either. Yeah, 2009. But yeah, I really like the cover and like the edges aren't really bent up hardly so it looks like it's brand new practically. Just got some little things on it I can clean up but and it's pretty blank so I can do whatever I want on there. And it says stylized. <laughs> I like that. Um, I found this cute little um, bird book. It's about breeding lovebirds, and they got so many pictures of these adorable parrots, or lovebirds. And look at that. Granted, it is a little glossy, but I couldn't leave it for just a dollar. This one's 1988. But I love all the different pictures in here of all the cute birds. I'm trying to find my favorite one. That one's really pretty. <clears throat> Isn't that adorable? And I can definitely make little tags too. That one's really pretty. 
I didn't know there were so many different ones. But there was a blue one that I thought was really cool. And then this one's like an old painting of one. It's pretty dark. But... That one's pretty. That one's really nice too. And it shows the size of the eggs. That's really pretty. But some of them take up the whole page, which is really cool. And um, as you can see, it's like stitched on there, so it'll be easy to take apart. Which is awesome. Oh, there it is. I love this blue one. I've never seen one like that before. This is the Blue Masked Lovebird. But yeah. So definitely each page, you know, has pictures on it. So look at that. That's a good one. So definitely be using that for junk journals. So I thought that was worth it. $3 for all three of them. Um, I also found these. They were only 99 cents and I really liked them. So I ended up getting two of them. They had quite a few of them there. But they got little like diamonds in the middle. And these are like kind of pearly color. I just like that soft color. But yeah, I thought it was worth it. And so I got two of those. And then, okay, this isn't to do with art stuff, but I thought this was so adorable. And you do like all the months and the days and you just keep on changing. It's a little whale. I think it was originally from a dollar store for $4 and I ended up getting it for $2. It's just so cute. I like anything ocean themed, so... I love this. I think that's all I got from the outlet store. And then last night we stopped at Myers and I was looking for a ribbon and they didn't have the color ribbon I wanted. I found out that they carried these two and it said $5.99. So I grabbed one and when we cashed out, it rang up as $6.99. So they need to fix that. And then I was looking through the clearance stuff and I found this little journal. It said 75% off. And it says it was only uh, $3.50, but one that ring up, it ring up as like a dollar thirty-nine, I think it was. So it ring up cheaper than what they said, so I made me not feel so bad about that because I saved a dollar. But <clears throat> the reason why I like this one is because the edges were yellow. And then um, it's like a really thick cardboard here. And the first page, it shows all the different types of leaves. And then it also says, you know, the name of them. So I thought that was really cool. And then it shows the journal belongs to, and then it's just plain note paper in here, and it shows that in the back as well. So for that price, I'm like, yep, I'm taking you home. <laughs> and then the other stuff I got was from uh, a dollar store. It's called Dollar Days, D-A-Z-E. And um, they just have so much, you know, things there. And first, because I wasn't going to get anything there, and I saw this, and I was hem hawing back and forth. It's this pull set, and it's the only one I saw there. It was for $2.29, and it is kind of thick, you know, because it's got this metal here, and it's got this fake leather here. But I was thinking about using this with my albums and stuff because I kind of looked inside, and you can see it's got the screws for it, and it's pretty flat. It's not too bad, but I was going to use it for doing more albums like this because these would be perfect for on the tops so I was gonna I was thinking about doing that for making more albums like this or use for like open up in different ways and I got and it came with two so I didn't think that was too bad and it was the only one I saw there and then I got some simple things um, I got some paper clips these has that like rubbery to it 
And so I got some big ones and some mini ones because I really don't have any besides like some fancy like Tim Holtz, those tiny ones. But just for like holding things and stuff, and they were both a dollar. The mini ones had a hundred in it, and then the bigger ones had seventy five in it for just a dollar. So I thought it was worth it. And then I got some binder clips because I need some of them too for doing my holding my signatures and stuff. And I like the colors of these; they were so cute. Again, I got some large ones and then which had ten in there, and then some of the mini ones that had twenty in there. And I just I love these pastel colors. I th just thought they were so cute. They got yellow, pink, blue, and then that like teal green color. So so cute. Got one of those. And then um, I found this. I wish I got a couple of them. They were only a dollar, but they're seeing company. The Smashbooks, you know, they're little um, like special occasions like journaling parts to put in with your uh, Smashbox or Smash journals or whatever they used to call them back in the days. But um, I was kind of sad because the tape I couldn't get off without tearing because I like this butterfly or not butterfly flower and I wanted to fussy cut it out but I'm thinking I could just take that one out and still fussy cut that out. But yeah it was like really cute. I should have got a couple of them. They were only a dollar. Um, the best and worst birthday ever. And then the eight, you were like write your age there. And then, I can't remember how many of them you got. I think you got like three of each or four of each. You get three of each. So there's like ten different things in here. And then they're already perforated, so you just tear them right out. Uh, what I wore for prom, first date, first job, wedding, Halloween, or a different thing. And then the date. Got three of those. If I had it to do all over again, I would. And then journal there. And then the date. So I thought these were really good things to add. And then food to remember. The... The spread includes and then whatever the recipe was and then the occasion to make that recipe um, decorative details the best part was for a certain occasion and then party theme to or party themes to remember and has one through eight people who were there for a certain occasion a, a great gift given received or an idea And then celebrate, a, and then you write that occasion, when, where, and what happened. So for a dollar, I thought that was pretty cool. Definitely worth it for junk journals. And then as I was leaving, I went past their yarn. And I shouldn't have because I found one that I really liked. First I saw this one. I really love the texture to it. It's so different. Like, can you see that? Like, it's like weaved through thread. And it just has this really cool soft texture and I love the colors here. It's got like a dark blue, a light blue, this tan color, and then like this dark brown and then like a lighter brown. So it has a lot of neutral colors in it. They're originally $1.99 and I got it for $1.59. And what was this one called? This one's called Desert Sand. And then they had this green one which would be great for nature themes. And they do have some blue in there it looks like. But this one was called Mystical Moor Moors? Moors. And there's a lot in here. It has 149 yards in it. So this will last a long time. And then I love this one with the blues and greens. It definitely gave me that whole like mermaid vibe. But this one's called Enchanted Forest. So I, de I just I love the texture. So I use these with tassels and, you know, like putting on pages for texture and stuff. It's just, it's so cool. I just, I love it. 
awesome. So I got those three. They had a couple more colors, and I still got one of each, but three's enough. <laughs> and from them being originally $2, I got them for $1.59, so that wasn't too bad. And then I found these uh, lace stickers. They were only a dollar, so I got two of them. There are these, like, lace-looking um, butterflies. Kind of looks like that whole, like, like doilies, you know, the whole crochet kind of, and, like, lace. They were so pretty. Oh, wow, I like the texture. It's kind of got the rubbery feel to it. Let's see how they come off. Oh, yeah, this is, like, really awesome. There's no, like, you know, clear stuff around it. I'm so glad I got two of them. But, yeah, it's weird because, like, it has that rubbery feel to them. They're so cute. Definitely, definitely using those. And then I found another embossing folder for $1.19. And I kind of like this one because it's got polka dots. And then it has this press here and you can like write whatever you want here. So I thought, you know, good for cards and good for junk journals. And then um, this is new. They didn't have these before. Um, they had these like table runners and really nice lace to it. And this one was only $1.99. And I really liked it. Like, granted, it's not vintage, of course, but, you know, I'll still definitely use this for junk journals. It's really nice. You know, cut out bits and pieces of it. I thought this one was nice with the design and everything. They had a bunch of different ones and different colors. They had white, and then they didn't really have cream. They had, like, a taupe color. And then, um... They had like a burgundy and like a dark purple and so yeah I got this one and then um, I got two of these ones I really like I got this nice green and then this like off-white but I really loved this green and they got big flowers in it so Definitely use this for junk journals. It's just a color I don't see that often in this lace, and I just I loved it. And that those were also a dollar nineteen. This is the same as the green one. But yeah, I thought it was worth it. I do like those flowers. But yeah, that was my little haul. And then I got one more haul to share with you from Arnie's, which is all scrapbooking supplies. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.